Hello friends, welcome again to my channel. This is Dr. Antoine, Dr. in International Entrepreneurship. I'm General Managing Director of Elan Concert Company. In this video, I'm going to show you other methods among uh, objective weighting methods. Remember, I have already presented only two methods, which are um, critic and entropy method. And those methods uh, I'm talking about are in this article. Remember, I have uh, been showing you this article, uh, weighting method for criteria decision making technique, presented by Odu, this author. And this method I'm talking about are in this are this method, these methods, uh, entropy. Criteria importance through inter, inter criteria correction. I have presented this method. Now I'm going to, to show you mean weight method, standard deviation method, statistical variance procedure. This, these are the method which were presented here in this article. And now friends, now I'm going to show you the formula for these um, uh, methods. Uh, let's show you the formula. Uh, for this. Okay, friends. Now I'm. Um, uh, I have presented this method and also this critic method. Now, the next method here is weight uh, mean weight method. Uh, according to this author, the mean weight gives equal importance to all criteria, and the formula for calculation of this. It, and this method is used when you do not have any information from decision maker on the preference of uh, of criteria or its importance and this is the formula this you, you have to take one divided by the number of criteria as indicated on this in as indicated on this formula now when we come we come again on our decision matrix Now you see we, uh, the problem we have here is car selection. And as you can see here, we have uh, six criteria, quality, conditions, security, delivery days, fuel consumption, and price. According to this uh, mean weight method, to calculate the weight, I will only consider one divided by six criteria because the, the formula is taking one divided by the number of criteria in and in our case we have only six criteria okay now this is the end of this method where mean weight because the weight here it will be 0 0.16 okay this is the the weight for all criteria i will give 0 0.167 Okay, friend, now I'm going to, to go to the next method. The next method is this one, standard deviation method. The standard deviation method determines the weights of the criteria in terms of the, sta the standard deviations using the this formula. This formula. Now, as you know, when you are, you are using Excel file or Excel sheet, there are some functions that are included in Excel. We do not need to calculate all these because the, the uh, standard deviation is a function which is included in Excel, Excel sheet. Now, what I need to do first is to normalize our matrix. And remember, if you have uh, seen the previous methods, I have just uh, sh uh, show you, shown you, I, j I show, showed how to make um, a normal, a matrix normalization. Now I'm going to to proceed with matrix normalization and let's see friends where is the formula for matrix normalization because I have been using when I was dealing with criteria important through inter criteria correlation this method which is this formula well, I have to normalize um, our um, decision matrix. I have to take for crit beneficial criteria the value minus minimum of value divided by maximum value minus minimum value. Var uh, value, sorry. 
for beneficial criteria i have to take each value minus minimum value divided by maximum value minus minimum value for non beneficial criteria i have to take maximum value minus uh, each value divided by maximum value minus minimum value this is normalization to normalize our uh, decision matrix now friends i go i f i just to try to identify maximum value here i go slowly by slowly and i can copy this function here i found minimum value mean like this friends like this and i can copy this formula like this next is to proceed on uh, decision matrix normalization and these are uh, these are uh, beneficial criteria remember expanded beneficial criteria are those criteria which for which we need the highest value but non-beneficial criteria are those criteria that we need minimum value and this is the formula as i indicated it here I will take the max for beneficial criteria. I will take each value minus minimum value divided by maximum value minus minimum value. Here uh, I I go directly uh, to take each value parentheses. I open parentheses here. Each value here minus maximum value. So sorry, minimum value here. But we have to fix it here like this. I have to fix by inserting one dollar divided by maximum value parenthesis here maximum value minus minimum value like this friends but we have to fix this value with one one dollar symbol and i press enter now i can copy this formula for beneficial criteria only we have to pay so much attention because this formula is uh, is the same for beneficial criteria only and i have to normalize also non-beneficial criteria by taking the maximum value look friends this is the formula maximum value uh, minus but i have to fix it minus each value look this is the formula each value here for non-beneficial criteria this one but remember you have to fix this value divided by maximum value minus divided by maximum value this value which must be fixed by one dollar minus minimum value this one which also must be fixed and across this parenthesis like this now i can copy uh, down this formula e4 only non-beneficial now I finish to make our decision matrix normalization. The next step is just to calculate a standard deviation. Standard deviation, uh, as I told you, there is a function in Excel sheet which can help you to calculate standard deviation. Look, friends, I'm using French uh, French computer. This is a car tip, and I select all these values i press enter then i i copy this formula to calculate standard deviation for other values other criteria and now as you see here friends look at the formula let's show you the formula how to calculate the weights look friends we are here standard deviation method we are here i finished to calculate to find the standard deviation now what is next is to take each standard deviation divided by the sum of standard deviation it is like this friends equal this value divided sum sum function sum to be sum in english and i select all these values pay attention friends you have to fix these this matrix must be fixed f4 like this f4 like this i press enter now i can copy this from it now you see friends i have calculated the weight for 
all criteria using a, a, standard, a standard deviation method. This one, this method, and this one, this method. What is next? I go straightly with uh, st statistical variance procedure. Also, there is a function in Excel which allows us to calculate a variance, a statistical variance. And I go uh, straightly with, because I have already normalized my matrix, decision matrix. Now I like, I write here, I write here um, variance, this function, this one, variance of our normalized matrix, this one. I'm calculating variance and I can copy this formula like this. Look, friends, the formula. What is next? Uh, let's show you the formula. Okay, I'm here. So it's called variance. I will take each variance divided by the sum of variance. I will take each variance, so yeah, each variance, I take each variance divided by the sum of the variance equal this value divided by the sum. So it will be sum in English, but in French it says sum of all these variances. But pay attention, friends, you have to fix this. You know, if you don't fix this matrix it will move when you copy the formula like this now i can just okay friends now you see i have calculated weights using standard deviation and variance look friends if you can compare the results from standard deviation and the variance as you can see there is no big difference there is no significant difference because for instance for quality we have this value and we have this value for with the variance the conditions is the same you see it is the same while 0 0.17 0 0.17 it, here also you see it is a little difference here also it is a little difference this result and this result here you see it is the same here there is a little difference and let's compare these results with previous method I have presented. Look, for instance, the results for entropy. Entropy channel method. This one. You see for quality, entropy has given this value 0 0.247. Condition 0 0.93. Uh, security 0, uh, 0.209. And so on. But when you look where this value co fuel consumption and price were negated in entropy because it seems price has no influence and also fuel consumption has a little influence when you compare to quality and conditions. Let's let's go with the critic method. Also, I have I, I made a video on a critic method. This 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 one. This um, criteria importance for inter criteria correlation. This critic I have already presented it. When you look the result from critic, and the result of standard deviation and the variance, also you can see that there is no significant difference between these methods because for instance uh, when you compare critic to variance you see here we have the same value this this value you see here you see also here uh, for condition it is the same value uh, uh, security same value uh, just uh, for delivery days, you see there is a little difference. These values. Also, fuel consumption, there is a little difference. But for price, it is the same weight. This method, critic method and variance, 
give same weight to, to price when we increase also mean weight because it is not the method you can see also the result are not or are not uh, statistically significant from the result uh, uh, got with mean weights now friends as you can see this method when you look well can avoid collapsing in supply analysis or in the way uh, they are managers or oh yeah decision ma man decision ma makers are taking decision because these these methods are not influenced by the appreciation of you uh, of human because you you take the data and you analyze the data and you, you calculate the weight for each criteria and then you choose the method you can use based on the weights of your criteria okay friends i think this method will contribute to increase the way you make decision if you like this video please share it and like it and subscribe also to my channel if you found this helpful maybe this can help other managers other decision makers uh, to improve the way they make decision and think Thank you for your attention for next video. Bye.